So, you know how in Unity you have runtime lights that can be enabled and disabled while the game is running? As you see, I have made a simple script which switches lights on and off. And while they obviously switch, they don't look as good as they could if they were baked. Like, you have that plain black dark corners which aren't enlightened, and they just look bad. So, let's switch those lights to bake mode instead of runtime and enable them. And in the light settings, we just bake the current light map. And as you see, it looks a lot better than before. I mean, it's a bit too bright, but you can adjust it however you prefer. But if we now run the game and, well, try to switch our lights off, well, they don't really switch now. Mainly because the lights are not baked. So, to fix that, we are going to modify our light switch script. And as you see, that's the script that switches the lights. It has of course an array of lights that we switch. Here's the code that turns them on and off. And it also uses new input system. So, let's switch back to Unity for a second. Uh, so you know how in Unity you have your scene and when you bake your lightning, Unity creates a folder of said scene which contains all the light map data. And if you look at the name of those light maps, you will see that they have dear and light, which is really what we need. So we are going back to our script and let's reference them by making four arrays of texture 2D. And for this tutorial I will only be making two baked light maps, dark and bright, but you can of course do more. So you know how Unity has this cool class called light map settings? Well it has a field called light maps, and that's what we are going to use. As you saw before, light map accept only an array of light map data. So let's make two private fields called dark light map and bright light map, which are an array of light map data. And now in start function, first let's make a list of light map data and name it dark light map. And then we make a for loop that loops over the length of the first array. And that for loop adds a new light map data to the list and assigns the values to the light map data. And lastly, we turn that list to an array and assign it to the dark light map array. Let's do the same for bright light map. Now we just need to switch the light maps on the button press. We do it by writing light map settings equals dark light map and the same for bright light map. Now let's go back to Unity, and now we have four arrays for light directions and colors. But as you see, we only have bright light map files. So let's create a folder for dark light map files and call it dark light map. And also create bright light map folder. Copy those files and paste it in bright light map folder. Now let's bake dark light maps. We will disable every light but leave only the door one and we go to the light settings and bake the lightning. And after it bakes, the scenes should update to dark light map. And we should also see the files update. Now let's copy the dark file map folder. And now let's assign the dark ones to the dark light map arrays. We select only the directions by selecting one and holding control and we drag it to the dark light map direction. And then we select only the light ones and drop it to the dark light map color. And we do the same for the bright ones.
Now let's save the scene and run it. And as you see, after pressing buttons 1 and 2, the light map should update. 